AI has been in the news for over a year now, and we've seen entrepreneurs use it in some pretty creative ways to help them plan their business. But when it comes to one of the most important ways, getting funding for your business, AI can get you into trouble. To find out more about why, I talked to one of the leading business loan readiness experts, Christine Buckley. Here's what she told me. Christine says that AI is great for helping entrepreneurs getting the ball rolling. We've all been stuck at a blank page just wondering, what should I write next? What should I write first? Well, that's really where AI shines. But the key point to remember is that consistency is crucial. If one part of your plan is different from another, that's gonna raise red flags, even just when it comes down to like the tone of what you're writing. Say you're projecting 5% annual growth in your financial plan, but then your executive summary says that you're projecting explosive or unprecedented growth, which is language that AI tools tend to use a lot. That's obviously gonna raise a red flag for a lender when they're reviewing your plan, because in one part of it, it seems like you have pretty modest and realistic ambitions for your business, but in another section, it's, you seem to be saying that you're shooting for the moon. And so those are the areas where just a red flag is going to pop up and a lender is going to say, is this plan consistent throughout? Christine says when there's not that consistency, that's when they start asking questions. Okay, in your projections, you have these numbers. How did you get those numbers? She says it becomes apparent pretty quickly that they used AI. And as these mismatches appear, that's when wait times grow because they're going to want more information from you. They're going to say, this part is not consistent with this part. Are you sure you're understanding your cash flows or your profits and revenues? Um, go back and do it again. And this is where days can turn into weeks. And that's time that you as an entrepreneur might not be able to waste when you're looking for funding to get started on your business. Dean stresses that AI just can't write your business plan for you. It can certainly help you write your business plan. It's just terrific for ideation. But when it comes down to understanding your numbers, understanding your customers, AI is not going to do that for you. That doesn't, it does not replace just the legwork that you do of doing market research, of understanding, you know, what kind of assumptions are you making about where your business is going to go, about what your customers want. That's just the kind of legwork that entrepreneurs need to do on them, you know, by themselves. And that's going to always remain the case, even as AI tools advance. So know your business, know what you want to be doing, know where you're going. Again, that's all skills and tools that you as an entrepreneur should have within yourself, regardless of whether or not you're using AI. To get all of Christine's insights, check out my full article on the LivePlan blog.